Millions of Halo fans around the world are desperate for more information about Bungie's next game, Destiny. They're here at E3 this week in Los Angeles to show off the first look at the gameplay of the game and give a little bit more detail about what went into the game and why it took so long to make. What is Destiny? It puts you on the planet Earth. According to Bungie, something has happened. There's been a golden age that has passed and you are now in the single city that remains. You go outside the wall, you don't know what you're going to find. The mystery, they say, is what drives you to keep playing the game. The biggest mountain that we've climbed is really trying to build this new world and try to come up with something that's familiar, that welcomes people in, but then is really good at showing them mysteries and possibilities for adventure. I'm really proud of the sense of place. It feels like somewhere I want to be and somewhere I want to keep on coming back to. This environment immediately asks questions, you know, what, what is this wall protecting? What are these structures I can see? And that mystery is what's going to draw players into the world. That's what serves as the driving principle for all of the exploration that you do across the game. One of the things Bungie is really well known for is building an interesting, compelling story. Millions and millions of fans are fans of Halo primarily because of that story. One of the big departures with Destiny for Bungie is there is no Master Chief, and they say that's intentional. There is no central character that you as the player are going to inhabit. They want you to be able to tell your own story. We definitely considered, you know, would we want to have a single named player character in Destiny? But for us, really, this game is about letting players express themselves, and Destiny is really all about the player and their choices and their customization. Without a central character, it makes it a little more challenging, but Everybody is the same hero, kind of hero, a guardian of the last safe city on Earth. So no matter who you're interacting with in the world, they always have that uh, way to refer to you, that perspective on who you are and what you represent and what you mean. So we can make the story personal, uh, but it also embraces these more general themes. To hear Bungie tell it, Destiny is a big game. It's part shooter, it's part MMO. In fact, they really shy away from using the word shooter MMO. They'll say first and foremost is the shooter. It has a lot of MMO elements. I get why they're a little reticent to put labels on that because a lot of what they're doing is new, has never been tried before. But at the end of the day, people are gonna wanna know. The game is a great shooter. It's a bungee action game. If you like the work we do, if you like shooters, action games, sandbox action games especially, you're gonna feel right at home. It's got really visceral combat to it. And then we've added a lot of elements of this living, persistent world and a lot of socialization and customization. Um, those elements do definitely expand the action experience, and they, but it all comes back to that action experience. What are the variety of things you could do in the game? They won't tell us yet. How many people can play the game at the same time? They won't tell us yet. Sometimes you're playing by yourself, sometimes you're playing with lots and lots and lots of people. The key thing they're pushing right now is interactivity, but the seamlessness of that interactivity. From what we saw, it looks like there's matchmaking happening when in the game. You go from one area to the next, and suddenly you're in a public area with lots of people playing at the same time. That's kind of interesting. There's technology happening behind the scenes that's matchmaking you with people, other people doing different things all around the world, but you're still in the game. Now, if there's more of that to the game, that's worth talking about. You just come around the corner and there's people there. There's no progress bars or UI or loading or anything like that. It feels very natural, but it also just makes the world feel alive. If you want to ignore it, you totally can. If you just want to keep on going, doing what you're doing, absolutely. But we really want these public events to be something that are, are worth it, that are fun, and that are just these opportunities to maybe meet up with people you've, you haven't seen before or um, just, have, just have a little bit of break from what you're doing. I think the big, one of the big differences between uh, the experience we're making and something that might be more like an MMO is the time commitment. I mean, we want to make sure that if you got 20 minutes, if you got 15 minutes to spend in Destiny, it's going to be worth your time. You can get in, you can get out. If you want to spend hours there, there's going to be fun for you too. And there's going to be stuff to do. It's a big living world. Gameplay-wise, they've got the shooter thing nailed, and there's no doubt about that. You don't have to worry about that. Can they make a game that's a shooter, that's not Halo, that's still going to be fun and interesting on top of all the other things they're layering on top of that? The problem with doing something this ambitious is there's so many more ways to fail, and we just don't know yet if they're going to fail or not.